Ryan here from Blue Hill Wildlife Nursery. Uh, you can see the deer leaving the calling card here under. Oh, there's the burrs. Chestnut trees. Lots of lots of calling cards. Lots of burrs starting to hit the ground. Still uh, not many up there to fall on this tree. This tree is one of my first trees to start dropping, but you can see obviously it starts uh you know pulling the deer in pretty fast. And out through here I got uh, you know just pretty much lines and rows of them. Um, you can see pines back in there too. You know, I was trying to bed as many deer as and feed as many as I possibly could. You can see, you know, even down through the chestnut trees. Uh, here's some persimmons. These trees are probably, these are around four years old. That there's a meter. You can see some persimmons hanging back in there on it. This here would be a full draw of persimmons. Yep, fruit's starting to ripen up on it yet. It won't be falling for a while yet, though. Uh, you can see the tree's about uh, about 12, 15 foot. You can see I've neglected to take care of them very well, but if it wasn't for that weed mat and that aluminum window screen and that stone, uh, most of these wouldn't be here. But because uh, I obviously have not taken taken care of them like I should be there. And as far as fertilizer and anything like that, they haven't had that in a couple years neither. That first year or two, I'm sure I did fertilize them this same way. Yeah. Not very good maintenance there, but that aluminum window screen, that weed mat's not working very well anymore. Like I said, these are about four. This here's meter though. You know, fruit's starting to ripen. You know, I like meter for our bow season here in PA. Pretty much drops for me October 1st, you know, and I'd say about 80% drop by about the third week of November. So it's a good draw. Good draw for a bow season here in PA. Again, you can see my maintenance has not been very well with the, the weeds, but the, again, the aluminum window screen and you know that weed mat down in there and in that stone is probably why this Morris, Morris Burton is still standing here today. Uh, Morris Burton, you can see it's just starting to turn a little bit. A uh, great tree for down south. Up here really likes to hold fast forever. Um, I got a fair amount of them, but, uh, but the fruit just likes to cling too fast. But makes a great late, late persimmons in the south. You guys know I like my chicory. Guess we'll go on a little tour. Obviously, more chestnuts. More chestnuts. These chestnut trees, if I didn't say, are all about the about that eight year range. Eight to nine years. A lot of them are, uh, I don't know, 30, 30, 30 foot, 25 foot. See more chestnuts. You know, like all these ones here we've been looking at, you know, they're nice and tight yet. It'll be a couple weeks before they open up. More chestnuts. Again, burrs are still all tight in them. Obviously, like I said, I like my chicory. You can see my deer even like uh, browsing my persimmons. Again, this one here is a, a meter. And this one's got some more age on it, like the last ones looked at her. Or four years. This tree's probably. I'd say seven or eight, you know, maybe 20 foot. You know, plenty of fruit. Lots of calling cards laying underneath this tree too. So it must be starting to trickle a few down. You can see they're, they're getting their orange. Some full draw persimmons. deer beds again I was trying to you know have a lot of bedding 
in my cover. This was a small property. Why I was doing so, but it makes for a real, real headache trying to grow trees when everything's growing around them. It would have been better off creating an orchard and keeping everything nice and mowed. This here is uh, deer luscious. You can see it's starting to ripen up. Lots of fruit hanging up top there. Thanks for watching.